So this just arrived in the post, and I say in the post, in the delivery truck that it got delivered in straight from Lego. And I thought this video is only gonna hit a small audience, so I might as well give you a sneak peek at a future project. At the minute, I'm planning on reviewing this. I'm not gonna lie, it will probably be August by the time I get this set out of the box, Bill. And when I say I'm giving you a sneak peek, this is the sneak peek. I'm not unboxing it. I'm not giving you any more secrets apart from it comes in a really big box and I am really looking forward and excited to getting this thing built to review on the channel. But today's video is actually gonna be focused on instructions. As you can see, my clone display here, which these hex guns are all 3D printed, just for all of you asking in the comments. I'm afraid you can't go out and buy them and is it worth buying a 3D printer for them? Well, I'll let you make your own decision on that, but you can check out yesterday's video with the help of Filoni Custom Clone Troopers. I have now filled my display with a ton of different legions. I can't tell you how many, you've got to watch the full video for that. But today we're going to be turning this bongo mock that I built. I spent a full month every single day of the month, more or less at least, working on this bongo and the surrounding base which i don't know if you can see in the camera but i have cleared that whole section my minifigure display has been moved to the top let me get a bit more light on that side of the room you can see my minifigures are on top and that is because we're going to be making some really big mocks on the channel i think it's a about 86 stud wide by 48 not quite two full great base plates but there's some big mocks coming this way so i thought i'd take you through the process of making instructions for a bigger set i do believe i have roughly gone through the process before for some of the smaller mocks but this is going to be so complicated and also it's just an excuse for me to get a few more really cool shots with this i now have the four minifigures that came with the original set we've got qui-gon kenobi jar jar and queen amidala yes a very 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 expensive figure may i add the price that she's going for is absurd for a little plastic minifigure i mean if lego were to re-release her nowadays It'd probably be in a CMF, which is worth, what, £3.50? There is no chance you're picking up this minifigure. Absolutely burnt, scratched, and just a puddle of mush for £3.50. Even that would be worth something to a collector. But now we've already taken a look at this. I think I also did a quick review towards the end of how the project and that went. So there's not going to be too much more talking besides this extremely long intro. If you're making it through this, thank you so much for watching this video. But as we make the instructions for this, I will be breaking it down. The bongo will no longer be at least in one piece. It will be in a million pieces in the parts drawers behind me. And that will give me so many grey plates for when we eventually get round to finishing the Lego Star Wars world slash Lego City Taylor Town, which is down there at the minute. I'll be honest. I might move it up one just whilst we don't have a mock display, but I have moved too many things around this room to try and put off recording this video. So let's get straight into taking this apart. I'm going to take a few shots, as I said, that you would have already seen. And then I'm going to take you into studio and hopefully show off the full process. Before I start, I won't include these in the instructions, but I do have a display brick that i can probably add separate instructions to the rubricable and on the discord speaking of the discord if you do want to support the channel go one further than leaving a like on the video then definitely consider joining the channel discord it is 99 pence to join we talk about leaks we talk about new set releases and just generally if you've bought a lego set and want to show it off the discord is the place to be as well as that you do get your name on a 3d printed towel just behind me i have the members board it's a little small right now we are aiming to grow and grow and this is on display behind me for every single video so perhaps over in the shorts you'll be able to see this a bit closer going forward but this is really really cool we have five members on here at the minute and i'll be honest there's not that much room compared to what it looks like. So make sure you do join the Discord and check it out for the £3 higher tier. You get access to every set of instructions I've ever made. 
That is going to include this bongo for only three pound. You get all the instructions, you get the instructions to the bongo. I think that is a pretty good deal. But I will also whack this on Rebrickable. I'm not gonna charge 20 odd pound for it. Honestly, I don't think it's worth 20 odd pound in instructions. I'll probably charge, probably charge a fiver or something like that in, on Rebrickable. But if you do want the di discounted price, definitely check out the Discord. And now let's get over to the studio and start rebuilding the Naboo Bongo submarine. Three, two, one. Oh, crisp. So hopefully you are able to see my screen. And I think the easiest way to start putting this gunship on the computer is to start off with the base of the ship. I actually added a four by four. This, this, it feels like magic. This feels like I shouldn't be able just to pull out a brick separator. But if you saw what I did, you'll know exactly what I've done. I did add a four by four plate on the bottom of this to connect it to the brick built display. So I should probably add a two by four on to that. I don't really know why I added this four by four. It's a real pain to try and pop off, but that's not included in the instructions. Instead, we got a bunch of different plates, wedge plates, and I'm first gonna build this in, you probably see it on screen now as I'm building this, laying this out and just holding it together with some plates that I'm gonna delete in a minute. You don't have to just use the pieces that are in front of you, use a few extra parts, make it as easy as you can because once we've got this on the computer, we're gonna be stripping this down off of the model and seeing the brickwork, and I think there's probably a few more plates in here as well that I use to hold this all together. It's a bit of a Millennium Falcon interior. If you've built any of the play sets for the Millennium Falcon, you'll know that it's basically got a mills plate, if you will, a Technic mills plate holding the whole thing together, brick with plate on top and bottom. And that is pretty much the same structure I used for that. For now, I will also be removing the towel because it does come off. It's held on with one Technic clip really that's all it needs there's not that many pieces on it but it is quite a fragile towel so that will be going at the end of the instructions we don't need it now so i'm gonna put that to the side and then we can just get a better angle all the different pieces used in here and you can see there's some technique at the back that i'm going to need to replicate on studio but once i've got the base i'll be back to start with the next part i don't know if i caught that on camera but i have just spilt water all down my desk i'll deal with it in a minute because i have finished uh plating out the base on studio you've already seen that and i actually also built the towel so we can go ahead and start to pull off the towel here because now we're going to try and this is the hardest part of actually making instructions trying to break apart a model without breaking it all apart and something's come loose already i have no idea what that is but it also gives you a good idea of what exactly is needed in the model and perhaps some unnecessary things that i may have added along the way because the aim of making instructions isn't just so i can rebuild it down the line if i choose but it's also to make it more affordable for you to build it if you want because i'm sat here i'm adding any piece that i've got to hand in fact I am planning on working on a brand new diorama for the start of next week, I think it is. And I know one of them pieces isn't gonna be the easiest to get your hands on. So I'll probably substitute that if I make instructions on it with a larger plate or something like that. But I've just pulled off this wedge and I've seen that we're already going in to the middle of these cockpit pieces. And that's actually the piece that has come loose. So this is a very, very important piece and we're gonna be gonna have to be careful pulling these parts off because the interior is going to come with it especially down here we have a load of different tiles that hold all the different pieces together so i'm gonna break this apart and then i'll let you know the next step once i've managed to do so without hopefully destroying as little of the build as i can so that actually went a little better than i was expecting it to because we have the base here which includes all three cockpits it's gonna make it so easy for me to start building this up over in studio. And now we also have a somewhat hollowed out base to the bongo. So you can see a lot of the bricks have now been exposed. I will pop off the remaining plates just to get a look at all the bricks at the end and make sure that I have them laid out where they're meant to go. Make sure everything's holding everything together more or less. But this gives you a really nice look 
but where these parts are meant to go on the studio and again you just rebuild in the whole model so it might seem fairly straightforward it's taken me quite a bit of time here but hopefully you can see me working this out on the studio in the background and any time now we'll have the whole frame of the bongo built and we can start looking at the efficient use or is it an efficient use of all these slope pieces on top there's a lot of slopes used at the edge i don't think we're going to get around that but just checking out are there any cheaper pieces because studio does actually tell you how expensive a piece is i think there's like one to four dollar signs to show you the prices of the pieces so if there's any expensive pieces in here excluding the cockpits there's not really getting around that but if you are making this at home you can always forget about the cockpits you can always superimpose saying if you're sharing images of it or if it's on a display the cockpits are just going to reflect like like i'm sure they're doing now with both my lights up and actually i don't know if you've noticed but i have removed the acrylic doors on my minifigure display because that was really really annoying me and the other display is still around but i've moved that out of the way of the background as well because the lego cockpits just reflect the light they often just look a bit glary on the top so this would probably look really cool without the cockpits and also it'd save you some money so now we're done with the bottom of the bongo and the frame is built i've added all the little slopes around the side these under slopes not quite these pieces yet and it's looking good it's looking solid there's been no problem so far no expensive pieces which is probably the more important bit for you the next phase of this instruction making will be to try and get some of the details now we can't access the plates above the technic bricks and i could try and peel that away and hope that it holds it together but chances are the tiles on top are just not strong enough for that so what i'm going to do instead is break off this whole section of cockpit we won't be starting that just yet but that's to get that out of the way and then take a look at these hinges once we can take these hinges off and we know what tiles go around them we can transport them over and hopefully that gives us a little closer look at the plates as well as just picking off all these slopes that we've just placed so we're trying to get into the nook and crannies of this build without having to pull too much off but as long as you can keep it in chunks i find that's the best way of doing it in fact these cockpit pieces should probably have been the first things to come off and there's quite simple plating just at the back here so we could probably start with that and start working our way in realistically every time a piece gets pulled off except for these cockpit pieces but every time a piece gets pulled off the model you'll want to be adding it into studio in some form it doesn't have to go straight on the model perhaps you can build it in parts and it can be a side build for your instructions but as long as you've got it on studio there's really no way it could go wrong so i'll start piecing these together on studio these are going to be the worst part for me because i've got them at so many different angles it's easy when you're playing with them they just fit now i've got to make sure they fit in studio and the studio doesn't think any of them are illegal i mean there is a little gap running through them so there shouldn't be any problems with that and then once i've separated all the plates out it's like a big jigsaw piece you pull a plate off you put all the tiles up into studio and then you've got to add them to the build and the instructions are going to be so much easier once the model is actually built we are well at least like an hour or so maybe even a few hours into building these instructions the time really does go by differently when you're when you're sorting lego it seems to go on for ages but when you're building lego and trying to take it apart it seems to go by it so quickly but i just want to show off the different sections that i've pulled this apart i am sorry for the lighting i haven't moved any lights to get them to light up my desk so you've just got the sort of ambience of the light in the room but you can see that this back portion has actually come apart quite nicely into its separate chunks we have three chunks at the back here which i might want to support that a bit better in the finished design but it did hold up on display for me so perhaps in trying to keep costs low and keep this whole back bit hollowed because i think that was impressive how i was able to just keep it hollowed out at the back there in fact i have forgot to put a few of these bricks just underneath here so before i forget let's do that but as you can see this frame is now slowly breaking its part down when i removed the back this side panel came off and it actually had to come off to release this side bit here this was on one of i'm sure you'll all 
see this on screen as I'm building through it, but it's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. So perhaps this isn't the best Lego design because Lego do like their models to be a bit more sturdy, a bit more interwoven well, but it's really nice. In fact, I could probably show you with the other side if I remember which side popped off first. All right, it doesn't seem to want to do it as well on camera, but thankfully, I already have this other side complete with all the tiles. It's just a mirror image. So the fact that this is flaking off really does not bother me at all. But you'll see once we pop this plate up. Yeah, so I'm rolling the camera and it's really not going as well. So let's pretend that all came off in one. You can see that this side piece is now popping off. I've already moved the anchor away from the front so we can take that off. It's the exactly the same as the other side. And because I'm building this on studio, you can only just see the screen, but when I double tap it, it hides everything else. And that is because I'm building this as a sub build, really. It's a smaller build within a build. So I can just click on this when I'm done. And on the bottom right corner there, it says copy and mirror. And again, you've probably seen me use this a few times throughout the build but it's so helpful in replicating it and it replicates it with a mirror image. So instead of building the opposite of this, all I do is click copy and mirror. And like you can see on the screen, it just takes the same thing, flips it over. And now we have two of them, one for either side. So we've got all this plate that has, I think this is actually the base. No, this is extra plate that's been put on top. So we've got all these plates that I can now add to the model and hopefully you can see it taking shape over time and that, like i said these are all going to be sub builds that you build and then add on to the bigger model and if you do want to support the channel by purchasing these instructions i would be really really grateful because it really does go a long way initially i put all rebrickable profits back into the lego city and i'll be honest it was still costing me quite a bit so now i'm deciding to I guess sort of save up for some of the new sets that I wouldn't usually buy so you can see the reviews of them here on this channel. And if you don't want to build a bongo because it's not like you're donating here, you are buying instructions to a bongo. Perhaps you don't want to build a bongo, just make sure that you watch out the rest of this video, leave it on in the background if you do want to go do something else and drop a like because that's also a really cool way to help support the channel and support all the builds on the channel. This is a very costly build, not only in the Lego pieces needed, but also the time spent doing it. I don't get paid an hourly wage to make these videos and editing this one is going to be a nightmare. So I really do hope you are enjoying it. That is the reason why I charge the odd pound or two. Lego is an expensive hobby. I don't want to directly be charging you for the work I'm doing. It's nowhere near good enough to do anything like that, not yet at least. But the little that you can pay towards these really does go a long way. And once again, the membership is a lot cheaper if you find yourself building a few more of these and just want to talk and just helps me keep going here with the channel. But I did say in the comments of one of my older videos, I got asked a bit about these instructions. And that is what's pushed me to do this now rather than leave it till the last day of the month. Because I promise that... Actually, I think I promised instructions for this would be out last month and so I pushed that back to this month. So I decided to do the video, hopefully answer some of your questions down in the comments below. Once we are making enough money on this channel, I aim to put all instructions, even instructions like this for the Bongo, which is a sizable model, up for free on Rebrickable. Perhaps then we'll have opened the Discord as well to a few more people because right now it's still in its trial period. So if you do want to have a more conversation than just a odd comment on a video, then definitely consider joining the Discord. Together, we'll just find out what works. So thank you so much to all of you who are supporting the channel. And as I said, the easiest way to support is just to enjoy the content I push out. And hopefully we'll continue to grow as fast as we are. But let's get back to making the instructions. So it is now too many hours to count. I'm not going to have a look at how long I've been doing this. I'm going to leave that for whilst I'm editing because I think I'd probably pass out. And the bongo is in pieces. I'm so tempted to put this back together. I think this would look great on display. But I know if I put it back together, I'm never going to break this apart again. And there are some pieces that I need not only for the city, not only for the next big mock, 
but I think it's time to say goodbye to the bongo. The only part left of the actual frame is this. So if you do want to build the bongo and perhaps you like me are going to go and now check out the full collection of videos on the bongo. I think there was about four or five videos and probably a showcase on top of that. There is a playlist, I'll leave it linked down in the description if you did miss it. And um, perhaps you want to go back and watch it so you can see the whole process behind building this bongo. I can't see why you couldn't try and piece together your own custom bongo alongside those videos, though it might take a bit more than just them videos. You might have to loop them a few times, but hopefully you enjoyed seeing the process behind it. It seems very straightforward. It's a lot more complex when you're trying to find the name of these pieces. Studio works on Studio is the program I use, by the way. You can download it off Bricklink. I've had it for so long on my computer, years even. I don't really remember how to download the software, but it does use the Bricklink names for them or the Lego IDs for the most part. Some of them have different Lego IDs where they've been re released and it's not fully updated. There's not every single piece on there but there's a solid selection for certain builds you might want to put together online and then test it out in person. Don't forget, you can be purchasing these instructions for like five pounds on Rebrickable. Or alternatively, you can subscribe to the members Discord for a month for three pound and unlock every set of instructions I've ever made. That is an awesome deal. But either way you decide to support the channel, even if it is just dropping a like, thank you so much. It really does help. And that is all for today. I'm going to add this to my sorting pile because it's too late to do anything about it today. And may the bricks be with you always.